did yesterday, we were expanding a single bracket. Do you remember we'd have like a four in front of the bracket? And we would, yeah, guys, I think one or two of you might still be not muted. You just make sure you're muted. That would be super fancy. So um, today we are going to um, just uh, be learning a new skill. So Ted, can you just make sure you're muted, please, Ted? Thank you, Ted. Thank you. So what we're doing today is where we've got a pair of brackets. OK, we've got two brackets side by side. Now we've got to do two things to them. We've got to expand them. Now that means get rid of the brackets. OK, so we're going to do clause to get rid of the brackets. And then the questions will always then ask you secondly to simplify. And that's where you gather like terms. That's where you go and gather up all your x squareds, all your x's and all your numbers. So don't worry if you can't remember what that is. I will explain it to you as we go. Now, we're going to have to do four clauses today rather than two. So it's really important you get into the habit of doing them in a good order. So I suggest you do it in the same order that I do it. So we're going to start off with the X in the first bracket. Okay, there's a slight lag. I'll just wait for that to be underlined in red. Oh, there's quite a lag, isn't there? Well, I'm still going to wait. I'm just going to wait for that to be underlined in red, that first X. <coughs> OK, so there's quite a lag. Hopefully it will catch up in a minute. Now, we take that X and we multiply him by both the terms in the second bracket. So those are our first two claws. So there's a delay. But you will see in a minute there will be a claw going from that first X in the first. There we go. And then the second uh, claw will go from that same first X to the three. Now let's go and call those claws one and claw two. OK, so it's just so when you look back at the recording, you know what's going on. So when we did claw one, it was X times X, which is X squared. OK, so claw one is X times X, which equals X squared. OK, now claw number two was the X over to the plus three. What is X multiplied by plus three? Well, that's plus three X. So that's similar to yesterday, really. OK, we're just taking something and multiplying it by both bits of the second bracket. Now we have finished with that X now. We're now going to move over to the two that's next to it, which I'm just going to underline in light blue. And we're now going to do the same thing. We're going to claw from that two over to both of the components of the second bracket. Now, to stop it getting too cluttered, I'm going to put these claws underneath. So claw number three is going to be the two going to the X, which I'm going to call claw number three. And claw number four, is going to be going from that two to the plus three. That's claw number four. So claw number three is the two going across to the X. Two times X is plus two X. And claw number four is two times plus three, which is plus six. So as always, the clawing is a timesing exercise. <coughs> Excuse me. You're always multiplying when you do those four claws. Now, we've finished the expanding now, guys, that word at the top. We've got rid of the brackets. We're now moving on to the simplifying bit, and that's where we gather up the like terms. So we've got some x squareds there, we've got some x's there, and we've got some normal numbers there. So you can only gather up the ones that are of the same type. So we can't gather up any more x squareds. So there's only one of them. We can't gather up any more normal numbers. There's only the plus six. But what we can gather up is all those x's in the more in the middle. So plus three x plus two x is plus five x. And that would be our final answer. So you've got to be very careful. Step one, when you were doing those claws, you were multiplying. But step two, when you gather those like terms, that bit in green, you are adding. So try not to get in a muddle. 
So we're now going to do example number two on the right in purple. Exactly the same process, exactly the same four clause, but I've just it's slightly more complicated because we've got numbers in front of the X's. So claw number one and claw number two. Well, I'm going green this time. So claw number one, two X times three X. So think about what you think that is. 2x times 3x. That is 2 times x times 3 times x. 2 times 3 is 6. And x times x is x squared. Now move over to claw number 2. This is going from the 2x to the plus 2. So 2 times x times 2. 2 2 is a 4. And 4 times x. So that plus 4x. All of the ones today, guys, are all positives. All right, I've started us off with some easier ones. So we just get used to the four clause and the two step process of expanding with multiplying and simplifying by adding. Next lesson, we'll start introducing some negatives. OK, right. So we've done clause number one and two. Let's move over to clause three and four. So clause three is going from the one to the three X. And claw four is going from one to the two. So claw three, one times three X is just one lot of three X, which is plus three X. And one times two is just plus two. So let's then go and gather up our like terms. So it's the same as before. Gather up the bits that are of the same type. And that's the X's in the middle. So the 6x squared is unchanged. We gather up the normal x's. Plus 4x plus 3x is plus 7x. Note how we are adding there. And the normal numbers on the end is just the plus 2. So you will find today, guys, all your answers are going to be so many lots of x squareds, then so many lots of x, then so many lots of just an ordinary number. That's going to be the format for all of these answers today. OK, so I've set the questions on Dr. Frost. Um, as always, I will go and share my screen. I'll be here for the rest of the lesson waiting to help any of you if you get stuck. OK, what I think I might do to start with, though, I'm just going to leave that screen up 